by personal request, I'm going to start doing more of these individual podcasts where I talk on a topic and I go through some of my coaching behind that topic and how I can help you. The first thing I want to address is business development. If you're an entrepreneur, if you're a business owner, and there's something that you know you can be doing to push the needle in your business, but you're choosing not to do it through fear or your own judgment of what people might think of you, you're limiting the ultimate potential. Remember, your desire is in you for a reason. If you have that desire, it's there because it's actually available to you. It's something that you know you can achieve. So if you've got a vision of your business or your life, and it's there and it's a burning desire, Napoleon Hill talks about this a lot in Think and Grow Rich, you've got to nurture that desire. And the reason why is because if you have that desire, it's unique to you. It means that you're capable of achieving it. But what we do is we let all the societal norms, all the thinking, all the thoughts, all the things that we're worried about hold us back. And what happens is we don't need to worry about the how we will get there. We just need to know about the what. We just need to nurture that desire because the how will show itself. The how will reveal itself. And when it does, it does so in the form of ideas, in the form of breakthroughs. So when you're thinking about it, when you're in the shower, ideas will pop up on how you can expand your business. And then do we take action? No, we don't. On some of those ideas, they just feel that little bit too scary, that little bit too outside of our comfort zone. So you'll hear all these experts, professionals talk about how to, how to grow, really. And how to expand. And this is what it comes down to it taking that leap into the unknown, crossing through the boundary of where our normal would let us be so that we can expand. Because remember, we want to become that person, that person that has that lifestyle, has that vision, has that business. And if we can do this and cross through the boundary and behave like the person we want to become, we'll actually expand and we'll go into our out of our comfort zone and we'll become more as the process. And so that's the first thing. When you have those ideas from your subconscious, it's you understanding and it's giving you the idea of how to actually get what you want. So focus on what you want and start building that desire and then take action on the ideas that come to you. One of the things that comes up a lot is people are worried about doing videos like this, putting themselves out there because they're worried about how they'll come across. They're worried about being judged. They're worried about what they will say. And that worry about someone who doesn't even want you to succeed or doesn't even care if you succeed is holding you back from getting your best life, from getting your big vision and actually achieving it. So I want today to make sure that we get a grasp of actually the reality of what we're doing when we're conforming, when we're letting limitation and lack hold us back. Because it's a big deal. If you have an idea of how you can expand your business or what you're doing and you don't take action on it, you're actually limiting yourself. So just when you do it, do it now. When you have that idea, do it now. When it comes up in your mind, do it now. It's something that you need to practice. And that's where the mental discipline comes in. This is what people talk about. It's what all the self-help books are always talking about. Discipline. So you've got to discipline yourself to take that mental toughness to it so that when you have that idea, you do it now. And because you do that and you keep those promises to yourself, you increase your self-confidence. You increase your self-belief. And it becomes easier. Of course, we expand and we want to keep pushing the boundaries of what we feel comfortable with to expand, right? We need to keep going over those boundaries and crossing through the threshold to take on more, to become that person. And so as we do this, our self-confidence, our self-esteem grows, we become more, and then we get faced with a new challenge. We get faced with a new how, how to get what we want. And so we've got to keep doing it. It's a never ending process. That's the first thing. Second thing, sit down every day and describe ways in which you could expand your business. How could you move the needle in your business today? What could you do? And when you do things like that, you're starting to prime your mind, prime your thinking to be able to come up with new ideas. You're setting it on course and you're focusing on those ideas. It's really important. When you do that, you're telling your mind what you want and what you want, it can then go and look for it. It can then hone in on that information and bring it to you. So sit down and brainstorm every day, 10, 20 ideas on how you could expand your business and then pick a few and do it now. Pick a few and do it now. And when you become that person, 
that just does it now, that doesn't need to think about whether you're going to get judged or whether you're judging other people that do it now or do those ideas, you start to live a little bit freer and you start to get freedom because you're not restricted by the constraints of this worry, of this doubt, of this anxiety, of what might happen if you do it. And there's a liberation in that. And in that liberation is your success. In that liberation is your big life, is your big vision, is your goal. So really feel this today. This is your chance to grab hold of something that can change your life and your business and your fortune. If you just master this skill of having the right attitude around this, the discipline to do it and to take action when it happens, and the mental capacity and fortitude to think of these ideas and the consistency around it. When you're consistent and you want to expand your business, when you want to do more and you have that dedication and consistency, you will prevail. Yes, you might fail nine times, but that one time that you win is a big win. And it says so much to the universe, to yourself and to your confidence. The fact that you tried nine times and you won once, it's 10 wins because you were consistent in your effort. So people think of it like, oh, nine and one. No, 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 no. It's one massive win with 10 overall wins because you stood up and you faced your demons 10 times. And in that, you've built consistency. In that, you've built self-reliance, self-confidence, self-esteem, and you've moved the needle. So all these invisible things that you can't see, you can feel them and you feel more confident. And you go, no, I will not let my doubt and worry hold me back. I will not let this limitation, this lack mindset prevail. I will not let it stop me from achieving my goal. It's a big one. So the question I ask of you, is there something that you could be doing in your business today that would move the needle that you're not doing, but you know, it could actually help you achieve bigger results. And remember this, it's not arrogance. You need to be the biggest self-believer in your business, in what you do. You need to be the biggest proponent, the biggest driver. You should be at the forefront of it. And if there's something out there that you want, go get it. You only need one or two big press releases, big TV appearances, big radio shows, one or two, and it will start driving in your favor. And you'll see how things will start coming back to you, how these requests for interviews start coming back to you, how people start wanting more of what you've got. You, but you've got to put yourself out there. You've got to back yourself to be that brand, to go out there and to make it happen and to be visible. Because if no one can find you, all the good that you've got gets unseen. And so you need to be the biggest advocate for that. And then eventually you'll have fans and super fans that become your advocates for you. But you've got to stand behind what you do and take that leap. It's a leap of faith. You've got to cross through the threshold into the unknown. And you've got to do the thing that your mind has brought up that you know will get you further ahead. If there's something that you can be doing right now that could expand you, could grow you, could push you to new levels. Trust me, go do it. You'll be crossing through those boundaries and you'll get the results. You'll get the reward, not only inside, but it will get you what you want. It's there for a reason. There's a reason that idea came up. And so you've got to try it. And when you become the person that starts trying it, you become more. It's such a better way to think. You've got to think bigger and you've got to play with these bigger ideas. And so when you get consistency around this and you start becoming that person, you start winning more in life, you activate your success mechanism and you tune in to that. So you've got to focus. Remember, we've got to focus on this every day. It's not just do it today because you watched this YouTube video and you felt inspired or motivated. It's every day. You've got to take this energy and put it into every day. Every day, you've got to go after it. Every day, you've got to want more. Every day you've got to cross through and expand and you build that as your self-image. Self-image is huge. I learned this over a process of five years of study and research. And that's when I wrote Be the Lion. And I put this into a method that people could read and implement. But really, that's a story of self-transformation. My book, Be the Lion, is how you transform your self-image, how you actually get commitment and discipline around who you want to become and then live it. So I, I am a product of this. 
And now I'm able to speak on this around the world and around things like on this podcast and this YouTube channel because I have lived it, I have breathed it and I've done the work. And I can tell you, yes, it's challenging. Yes, it's scary. I get it. But the fear, if you let it control you, doesn't get you anywhere. It just keeps you where you want to be. Like it keeps you where you're comfortable. And it, and it's fine because that's your old habit, right? That's your old habit saying, my old programming is stronger than my new programming. And that that's normal. But what you've got to do is fight through that. So recognize that your old habit patterns, your old programming is keeping you where you want to be right now. And it's comfortable. And of course it's keeping you there. Of course it's safe. Why do we need to expand? Why do we need to do this? It's trying to keep you there for a reason because then you don't get, you don't challenge it. But the new programming, you need to repeatedly do it over and over and over again. And if you do this, I promise you, the new habit will start to take form. The new programming will become the dominating thought in your mind, the dominating go-to action. And because of that, that's when you'll get self-identity change. That's when you'll start to transform at your core. And when you do that, that's when you get breakthroughs. That's when the old habit dies away and it can't exist anymore. You get self-awareness. And when you get self-awareness, you can't put it back in the box. You can't unknow something. You can't be unself-aware. And so this is beautiful because this is how we change all of the things around bad habits, destructive habits, addictions, and just becoming a peak performer. This is how you do it. It's identity-based behaviors. And when you move in this way, when you repeatedly do something and you train your mind and your body follows, with action, courageously, you do it anyway, you do it now, you become that person and you change at your core and your identity. Think about salespeople. Why do they have fluctuating sales results? Well, it's because they, they put in the effort and they have the attitude, but only for a couple of weeks, maybe for a couple of months. And then they die down again and they go back down to normal because they reach their plateau. They go back down to where their identity would say they should be at. They cool off. How come some top sales professionals and salespeople always consistently outperform their targets? Because they have that identity. It's not because of the product. It's not because of the environment they're in. It's not because they got lucky. It's because they have that belief. They have that self-identity. I am a winner. I outperform my targets. That's who I am. And because of that, they do the actions that that kind of person would do. It's very simple. But they program themselves to do that, to think like that. And I want that for you. If there's something you want out there today, go get it. And remember that it can't just be today because you watch this video. You've got to consistently sit down and do the work every day and consistently have that vision, build that desire of who you want to become and then reprogram yourself. This is what we do. This is what that person would do who achieves those results. And because you do that, you're guiding yourself to a new neural pathway. You're guiding yourself away from your old habits to your new habits, from your old destructive programming to your new improved high performer programming. So I wanted to start off with that today because I think it's a big one. It's one that we can get a lot of change from very quickly. It's transformational. And these tips that I've shared with you today will help you build wealth in your life. They'll help you expand your business and they'll help you feel amazing about who you are. I promise you, when you do this, you'll start to feel amazing about who you are. When you really get that consistency and you change your self-image, which can take a few months, starts to build and then starts to build and then you override that old pattern. When that happens, you will become more. You will feel connected to your vision and your purpose. You'll feel that you're getting more success in life because you're focused on what you want and you're going after it and you're doing the things that are going to get it. So build consistency and discipline around brainstorming new ideas, about changing identity-based behaviors and your attitude towards that. And don't let that inner critic, that inner voice, that inner judge hold you back anymore. All right, I'm over and out for the first one. I'll see you on the next one.